Okay, this is Ringwalk Media. We're up in Newcastle. It's Wasserman Week, and we've got a young lady that's got another big fight ahead of her, Jordan Barker. Poor, oh, we get your name right because they didn't. <laughs> nice to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for getting the name right as well because it's a little bit of a tuity that people don't get the double barrel bit, or I'm getting called Baker. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, listen, um, nice and cold up here, but I think the heat's on its way. You've got a big fight on uh, Friday night. Oh, absolutely. That she, she, Look, she's going to bring it, um, watched a few of our fights. She's an experienced girl, but like I said in the press conference just there, I'm going to light her up like a Christmas tree. You did promise a little bit of Christmas fun, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit ready for Friday. And, of course, you're used to big fights. Last time out, you took down Beck Connolly, who's, you know, no slouch. She's a very good um, fighter. She's fought in a lot of big arenas. And, you know, you made quite easy work of Beck. Yeah, look, I wanted to show the clinical side because my fight before that got a little bit uh, into a dog fight, a bit of a scrap. So I wanted to show people my skill. And I knew I could get her out of there. I knew when I landed a shot, I could pounce on it. But, yeah, she's been in with some tough, experienced girls. She takes big fights, so re respect to her. Um, but, yeah, when I seen that shot land, I just, just pounced on her. We were about four foot away from it, and it was a cracker, wasn't it? Oh, it was, yes. <laughs> you must have been pleased with that. It's going on the showreel, that one. Oh, I, honestly, I loved it. I loved everything, the build-up. Like I was just saying before, like that was my first fight where I've had a media workout there's been a press conference so like I've had that experience that last time out so this time's been even more fun exciting just take it all in and listen going forward you know you're making a bit of a name for yourself you've got five six fights now you're moving up like they've said in the press conference you know who do you fight domestically there isn't really anybody you've got to go up to that international level next year you know that's probably where you've got to aim right oh absolutely like we've already kind of got a plan set in our head where we're going to go and um, whether that's European or Commonwealth, we'll, we'll decide on that, depending on who's there available to fight for. Because I know there's a girl that's already got the European title as a lightweight, so if we, we go for her, we'll go for her. If we try and get a Commonwealth approved, we'll get a Commonwealth approved. But I've got some girls on my hit list and I'm coming for them next year. And listen, this fight, let's go back to this fight, because it's, you know, you have to take each fight as it comes. Um, what have you done differently in the, that you've learned from the last fight for, for this fight? How have you prepared slightly differently? There's been loads we've been working on in the gym, uh, picking it up from my last fight, just watching it over and over. Um, so it's more just like the correction of where things need to be before throwing that shot and landing it. So I feel a lot more confident going into this one, like things have just kind of clicked the way that we've wanted to. So yeah, just practice, practice, practice. I've had the time to do it from, from last fight out, so I've been working hard in the gym. I've got to say, you're looking so much more confident than you did last time. Obviously, like you say, you're getting used to the press conferences and fighting on big big platforms. I'm guessing you now want to stay here. You don't want to go backwards. Oh, absolutely. That's why I need a good performance on Friday, not look, overlooking my opponent one bit. Um, good big performance, going to bring the spice, going to bring the sauce, going to bring the energy, going to bring everything Friday night in that ring. Um, and then look, I can set myself up for a good year next year. Sounds like a, a really good fight to be watching. And of course, there's quite a few good fights, especially the main event. You've got uh, a northeast Christmas cracker, as you've said. I mean, which side are you on? Come on, tell us. It's hard, you know. Like it is 50-50 in my eyes. I think who's it's going to who's won it, who wants it more on the night in, in my eyes. Um, it's it's hard one to pick. It really is. They're really, really both very well suited with styles, and I mean, it should be an absolutely awesome fight, no matter what the the outcome. I can't wait to fight myself and then sit ringside and watch it with my own eyes. So I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be an absolutely unbelievable fight and I'm just privileged to be on this card. And another one that we're really looking forward to is uh, Lyndon King Arthur. Now he's, you know, he had a, a little out in, um, back over in Bolton a few, few months ago. Um, looked OK, but I know for a fact he's been really on it in the gym and he's really looking to make a statement this one. He's going to be good to watch, Lyndon. Yeah, look, it's a class call man, just been added on recently, so I think it's it's good. It's spiced the card up even more, isn't it? Um, and I do think he'll come out victorious on the night. Yeah, he's got to be careful though, because like his opponent said, this is his this is his uh, Hollywood moment. You know, he's never been in front of a cameras like this before, and you know, he, we looked at his record. He's got a good record. He's not going to be easy. Oh, definitely no easy opponent whatsoever. Um, but we'll see come fight night who. It's, uh, I do think it could potentially be a stoppage. Yeah, he's, it, we had a word with him earlier, and he says that he's not gonna he's not gonna make those those championship rounds as they call them. I don't feel I feel the same. I think early rounds rounds one to six is my prediction. So it's been a good year for female boxing, hasn't it? I mean, there's a lot more exposure. You're 
fast becoming, I don't know what was called trendy, but you are now starting to capture the imagination of boxing fans across the board, male and female. And I think it's really, really good that guys like yourself are coming out now. You're, you've got great careers coming up and you're actually being boosted by that sort of interest. It's, it's a good, been a good year for women's boxing. Oh, absolutely. The fights that we've had this year like, is, is been unreal and the platform that girls are now getting is where it needs to be and where it should have been a while ago. But we're getting there. There's still lots to do um, for equality, but like it's good you see female pretty much on every single card now and that's what you want to see people are excited about the, the females fighting whereas previously people didn't want to see females fight and um, so i'm just buzzing to be a part of that i mean the, the female and the male thing should really now become boxers yeah. because you are training it was someone i can't remember who it was but they said women are training the same they're away from the families the same they're putting the same effort into the gyms so they should be now boxers yeah absolutely like because there's still people that differentiate the two yeah. and say female boxing and just boxing for lads it's, it's just boxing yeah. we're both the same we both do exactly the same style training like i live with my wife and hardly see her when i'm in a camp do you know what i'm saying so we sacrifice a lot of things just like the lads do so it should just be treated as it's one sport it's boxing last last question where do you stand on the three minute rounds do you want the three minute rounds for boxing for yourselves or do you prefer the two minutes for me i wouldn't mind three minute rounds I, i've come from an amateur background where i was fighting three threes and then you've got to go back down to two minute rounds which is what you start when you're just starting out as an amateur so i was like what but i, I do think you'd see a lot more stoppages in female fights as well if there was three minute rounds so and different results maybe as well absolutely that extra minute is is a long time and can change around completely so i do feel that's in my opinion i think i'd, I'd prefer three minute rounds well listen we're really looking forward to your fight second time up this year we've seen you and uh, i think you're going to bring the spice like you've oh said so am, that spice is coming <laughs> well listen we wish you the best and i'm sure we'll speak to you later on thank in the week thank you very much cheers thank you